guys out there! I'm Michael. I'm George. This is Vaping Cars, and today we are reviewing the iVogo Abaddon Dual 18650 box mod. Abaddon. Abaddon. And today we've got the iVogo Abaddon box mod. Very lovely. So over here, we've got a shiny chrome lettering iVogo on the front, and also a picture of my friend here, my cousin. Uh, his face is on there, Diablo with his beard and whatnot. Uh, we've got the Abaddon box mod on the sides, very plain on the outside, and the QR code on the back with the website. Very plain, very simple, very iPhone like. Now, dun da da da. In there, you're going to get an apron. I'm joking, this is their little mitt thingy, uh, so you can put your mod in there. Uh, last but not least, very there's nothing in there. Very plain, very simple. And you've got the very rusty um, <laughs> box mod that we've been using. It, no, normally it, it comes very shiny and chrome-like, but uh, I'm afraid uh, <clears throat> we've been testing it out. So, uh, that's the unboxing. Here it is, the iVogo Abaddon. 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 Dual 18650 mechanical mod in copper. Copper version. Look at that. That's a beauty. It's a bit... Patined right now. I think that's the right term. Patined. It's like you just wiped the cat's bottom with it. Yeah, and I have the cleaner in there, but we're trying to do three videos in one day. So. That's why we're wearing a shirt. <clears throat> yes, and what time is it now? It's uh, 17 past 11. PM. PM, yes. We have the Devil's Face, which is the El Diablo face, the Mephisto, because the original version of this is a Mephisto Abaddon. Abaddon. So, so they like their Diablo de de devils and stuff. Let's start from the top. You have a 510, obviously. Uh, the adjustment is made by screwing in, screwing out. It's not uh, reverse threaded. It's you screw it to the right clockwise. It goes in, anti-clockwise, it comes out. Just like an, anything. Uh, you have the threads for your atomizer. Do you have an atomizer anywhere? Let's use this one. Very smooth, very smooth indeed. There we go. Let's take this off. Pushing off the mod. Nice button, nice big button. Bit hard to press though. Uh, at least I find it after a few uses. It's a bit stiff. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, on the clone, on the iVogo clone, we actually have a locking mechanism for the button, which we don't have on, on, your, on the original version. See, so you can't fire it now. Everything in this mod can be disassembled. Every single thing in this thing can be put apart. It's a thing like 20 times. <laughs> it is a thing. It's a box mode. There you go. Put your batteries in. You slide it. There's two, no, three minuscule magnets in there. I don't know if you can even see them. Let me go to the middle of the camera. One, two, three. Three minuscule. In the top. And three on this side. So they stick together. They're not very strong. Bear that in mind. See, they're not strong at all. Just hold it in there. And what you do, we need some batteries, sir. Batteries? Where are uh, the batteries? Would you like something? No. Anything. Here we are. Let me the batteries on the... Uh, where are you going? Let's just use these ones. Boom. And boom. This one is a bit... <coughs> Technically, shouldn't be used on a Mac mod. Safety is key. But it doesn't matter. Let's just slide Did this you in. the camera? <laughs> yes, I punched the tripod. I apologize for that. So we, we, we violated you, we touched you a bit. And then what you do is you screw on the screws. They're silver plated screws, all very nice. If on this mod, if it's not pure copper, it's silver plated copper. So you have tons of conductivity going through this mod. So what shall we put it? I can't put this in because I've got an i200. Oh, my, I've got a bit of Clapton's in here. There's a bit of epoch in it. But an epoch, but it'll do, it'll do, mate. Oh, you've got Clapton's on the epoch. Yeah, mate, uh, 0 0.25 right there, mate. You clap, do all Clapton's on the epoch. And uh, it's a bit nyak nyak. There you go. A bit mucky, mate, it's all right. It's Isn't all this right. going to be a bit too much for... No. Never. Okay. It vapes, doesn't it? Yeah, it vapes. It's quite nice, very comfortable, no rough edges. I'm really sorry, we'll take this out of the scene for a second because I want to give this a go. Okay, it's giving it a go. Look at that, it's giving it a go. Oh wow, flavour. There's actual flavour there. <laughs> yeah. I've never experienced that in my life. 
Mm, very nice indeed. It's very comfortable to use. It's round. However, so it's got a few problems with it. Mm. Yeah, the, the, that bit, the door. Right. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me try and show it. See, it doesn't go flat. It kind of sticks out ever so slightly in there. And after a few hours of use, it kind of rubs on your finger. Because you have a tendency to put the finger underneath because you're pushing it like that. I'm quite skeptical about that mod. You know, reason being, it's summer, is it not? Yes. If you leave that mod in your car in the winter, will your hands physically bond to that? <laughs> I have no idea. That has to be. Or you have a dr metal drip tip and that will physically bond onto your lips and tongue. I don't think so. Here we have the inside. Double barrel. It's nice pack. and in focus on the bottom. It's silver plated uh, positive screws at the top. Yes. Those two ones uh, going in this, this direction here is what holds this whole section in place. So if I take those two screws out, this whole thing comes boom right apart. You can even replace the firing pin that this button pushes down. And I'm trying to remember how to freaking hell open this thing. How did I used to open this? It opens. Yeah, but, ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. So this is nothing but a, just a button that pushes down. You have a silver plated screw there. I do not know why because this does not do any difference unless it has, you, you can adjust the throw on it. There you have it. If you push this pin down, I have to be really careful not to touch the sides. Oh, I have no batteries. That's why it doesn't, doesn't fire. But never mind. Push it down. And it fires. There you go, that's the whole thing of it. There's a few more bits in there, but there's no point for you to open it. As long as it works, it works. Here we have the Abaddon. Let me just put the thing. Abaddon. Oh, there's no button. Let me put the button back on. Poor boy. It doesn't have a button. If you take his button away, it's, it's, what is it? What's the meaning of its life? It has no button. W why? It doesn't fire. I can't freaking close the thing off. I think I pushed it too hard. I can't open it! I cannot unlock it! If you remove a button off a mod, it's like chopping off a dog's ball. Ah, here we go. Useless. Here we go. Man, that thing was pretty tight in there. Now it's working again, the locking, locking, mm. the locking mechanism. There we go. The Abaddon. Abaddon. The Abaddon clone by iVogo. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna say the negatives, positives, and some rambling about it. So, what are your negatives? Do you think about this, mate? Negatives. Hmm. The sharpness of this thing here on the bottom. Because when you don't have the batteries, it's pretty flat. It's right. It's dead on. Hmm. But it's got a bit of play on it. See, it lifts. Right. It, do, it the cap does lift up and so down. So when you put the batteries, it lifts, and there's these edges. Hmm. So you're gonna have a, a, a gap, and you're gonna have edges, sharp edges. The gap is what? So one millimeter. Hmm. Well, one something millimeter. And it. it kind of hurts you because it's right on the place where you put the finger there to yep. hold it your pinky yeah. uh, another thing the button is a bit stiff mm. yes I, I felt that stiffness it is a bit stiff yeah I'm, that's it I'm, it's hurting my finger already I haven't even played with it can I play with it yeah play with it it hits me it? right on the bone there first thing I know is it's small but it's heavy uh, anyways you like I like solid uh, mods Another thing, because it's made of copper, it's going to tarnish. I like my mods to look nice and beautiful and shiny. This tarnishes like... That's <laughs> beautiful and shiny. <laughs> this, this tarnishes, and I don't like that. I don't know if they can put a coat or web onto this, but... That's just the way it is, isn't it? That's that the way it is. The magnets are very weak. Uh, the, it doesn't hold that well. Um, Again, but the original one doesn't even have the magnets. Oh, so again, it's a pro and a negative at the same time. If you're gonna do it, do it well, basically. Um, now the 510, as you can, as you may well may know, it's not adjustable or adjustable. Is it adjustable? It is adjustable. Oh, it is adjustable, but it's not spring loaded. It's not convenient. Uh, ooh, I guess yeah, I the magnets like are so strong. I don't. Even, they would. I don't know why they even bother mm. to put the magnets in because the door doesn't lock in with the. The, the magnets. Mm. It locks in with the screws. So I don't even see the point. But there you go. In case when you don't have your your uh, actual... But it doesn't hold button. it there. No, if you don't have your buttons, it's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, it just, at least yeah. it's something, to be honest. At least they went for the trouble of adding something extra to the mod. Now, the positives. The positives about this. It look 
looked really nice. Yeah, it's as mechanical mods go, that freaking thing looks awesome. It's small, it's relatively comfortable around the edges, uh, you know, around these curved sections there. It's proportionally sized very the, well. I think that's the smallest dual mechanical solid iron, I'm sorry, solid copper. Yeah, conductivity is awesome. They have another, they have another finishes on the, on the LDL as LDL. well. Yeah, yeah. They have stainless, they have black, they have... But I went for the copper. Just pure copper. And I, when I first saw this, I thought this was plated. I did not believe it at all. And we got a little screwdriver and started scratching it. And it's, it's solid That's copper. That's why it's so goddamn heavy. Mm. Oh. Without a battery. Well, it's a bit lighter than that, but there's two batteries in here. <laughs> and a tripper and... Oh, I can see the, the haze you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it gets misted, but... Wow! Holy crap, how the hell? <laughs> there's no batteries on it. Yeah, and no freaking dripper. So, yeah, um, I like the placement of the of the button. It's, it's nice, a very well placed for it to be. Because normally there's side buttons or bottom buttons. If it was smoother, uh, If it was easier. softer, yeah, softer to click, that would be even better. But again, I like where the button is. It's small. Oh, another comfortable. negative. There's no feedback. When you press it, there's no click, there's no nothing. Yeah, but this is a smooth it's mechanical. It's a mushy button. I like it like this. Some people like the tactile uh, feel. I like it like that. I want to hear my engine roar. <laughs> type of thing, styled. Yeah, but apart from that... Yeah, positive enough. They added, from the original version, the locking mechanism on the button. Yes. Uh, it's got uh, uh, silver-plated connections as well as pure copper. Silver-plated? Copper. copper. Silver plated 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 copper. Silver plated, plated copper. Silver plated copper. Copper. I have a copper, mate. Copper. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah. No, oh, 22 millimeters around, so it's gonna sit flashly. There's a little coin up there on it. Oh, with the straw. So we were using, remember, with the straw, the mini. Oh, oh it looks so If cute. it was copper, though, it would look. No, I, I was liking the black. It was matching the bits of black on it. Well, contrast. Mm -hmm. Color coded. Anything yeah. else? As mechanicals go, it's my favorite. Mm. My favorite mechanical mod up to date. No as doubt about it. As a jewel, but my single one I got you for Christmas is the best one, right? <laughs> yeah, that one is very elaborate. What's no, but slug? yeah, but this is simple. And it does. It just does what it says on the tin. It vapes. Does it vape? Yeah, it vapes very well indeed. It vapes. We, it's rare for, for us to find stuff that doesn't vape properly. But when it doesn't vape, we, we slash it. But it, it vapes. Another vapor. It vapes. Yeah. Thumbs up. I have no problems giving it. So up would it. I buy it? Yes, I would. How much was it? Oh shit. Uh, thirty-five pounds on eBay. eBay. You're. This is an eBay. eBay. Still, I, it, I know it's fully copper, but th it feels thirty. N niggle it down a bit, 30 Come years. Come on, man. What do you want to buy then? You want to buy a, a freaking snowball for 10p? <laughs> if they were? How realistic. I wouldn't buy it. 35 pounds for that. I'm sorry. If it's hand, but not hand. This is yeah, solid. Yeah, the value of the cord, to be honest, is worth like 15 quid. Yeah. And the machining and everything. All right, fair enough. Somebody goes. I don't know the value of stuff. <laughs> yeah, 35 pounds. It's a super fair amount for this. Super fabulous. Fragilistic Elizabeth. Super color fragilistic XBL he He's got kids at home. He's I never watched it. Oh. I just memorized it was always on the back of the buses when I was going to work, so I kinda stood there. <laughs> Pastime. Yeah. Big oh. thumbs up. Despite the little tiny floss tiny I found a new feature. Major. I don't know if you can see it. Ready? Let me reload it. Chuk <laughs> chuk. <laughs> there you go. This is the Ivorbo Abaddon clone. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael. I'm George. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Wait, rambling. Rambling. Wait, did you hear that? What? Ah, no. uh, pig.